Hi, my name is Hamid. I'm instructor at ASM Educational Center. Our phone number is 301-984-7400 and we're located in Rockville, Maryland. Our site is www.asmed.com. Today I'm going to talk about the basic router configuration. And we're going to build a network, then we're going to configure a router. So what I'm going to do, if you see on the left side, I click the switch. I bring 2950T switch here. I label this, make it switch one. Then I'm going to put another switch here, 2950T switch. This will be switch two. I click to end devices and bring some punch of PC here. I call it PC one. Then I bring another one, PC two, PC three. Then this side is going to be PC four, PC five and PC6. Now in order to give it notes, you click on here and just type in notes. So this nest is going to be 10.10.10.0 slash 24. As the slash 24 means what? Subnet mask 255.255.255.0. Then I'm going to give a default gateway 10.10.100. We're going to talk about default gateway later on. That's this network. I click here and I put here 20.20.20.0 slash 24 with 255.255.255.0 if I give it 20.20.20.100 so I put default gateway here okay then what I'm going to do I'm going to connect the cable here so if you click see this is a router this is a switch and this is the cable is in order to connect the PC to the switch we have to use what straight through cable okay so I'm going to connect that one I go from backup PC from NIC card to let's say port 1. Right now it doesn't matter what port, later on it's important. I click a cable again, I go from backup PC 2 to port let's say 2. I click a cable, I go from backup PC to port what? 3. Okay. Okay, the goal is to build this PC right here, this network, that's the goal is. I want to have at network 10, 10, it's going to be dot one, dot two, dot three. We default get 10, 10, 10, 100. And this network is going to be 20, 20 dot zero, dot four, five, six, and default gateway 20, 20 dot 100. Now the key is default gateway for this side has to point same as router. So if here, I'm going to shoot the router, this router F00 should be dot 100, and this router should be dot 100, 20, 20 dot 100, okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to connect the router right now. Minimize that one. I bring the router. You click on the router, and that's a 2811 router here, right here. Okay. I'm going to click inside, make this router one, and I click the cable. I go from where? F00 to any port. Let's say airport, I don't know, 24. I click here, and I write down this is going to be F slash 0 press enter dot 100 that's my desired network is then I'm going to click another cable straight through cable from here F01 to let's say port 24 and here I'm going to write F01 is already there and that's that now I'm going to I'm going to connect from what cable from here from PC to let's say port 4 I connect from here from PC 5 to port right now it doesn't matter what port 5 and from here PC 6 to port 6 okay all right well done now what I'm going to do I'm going to click IP address to give IP address to this PC see as I move the mouse there's no IP address it said right now it's no IP address you see that when I move the mouse on top of that it says that up no IT so I'm going to double click this Oops, it's freezing. Sorry about that. So we just have to wait. We're gonna go to custom, I'm sorry, desktop, and click on IP config. This is PC1. So this one's gonna be 10.10.10.1. The subnet mask. Two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero. And default gateway is going to be 10.10.10.100. This is default gateway, point to right here, okay? Very good. That's PC1. Let's go give it PC2. Desktop. This is PC2 is right here. 
it's gonna be 10.10.10.2 255.255.255.0 okay we do same thing here pc4 so this is going to be dot four this is going to be dot five and this is going to be dot what six same thing okay so double click that one desktop this is going to be 20.20.20.4 20 20 20 Tab key 255.255.255.0. Again, another tab key 20.20.20. 20 20 20, oops, sorry. 20. Dot what? 100. It has to match right this side. 100. Okay. I'm going to put here dot 100. And then I'm going to put in PC5. Desktop. 20.20.20.5 tab key 255.255.255.0 tab key again oops sorry that 255.255.255.0 and this one 20.20.20.100 okay now right now all these PCs they can talk all these PCs they can talk why because they are same they are one switch and same VLAN so if I go here, I try to test this. If I say IP config, I can ping 10.10.10.1. I'm pinging myself. Okay. Upper key dot two. I can ping my dot two right here, but I cannot ping 2020.4. Let's test that. 20.20.20.4 why can't I ping it because I have not configured the router in order this LAN talk to other LAN I have to do that so that's the goal of these uh, classes to show you how to configure the router from scratch okay so I go double click router I go to CLI you see every time you you boot up a router this is called what setup mode we always use a control C control C to get off the mode now this is called what? User mode. Okay, I wrote on my notes right here. When you open the router, you will see this. This is called what? User mode. What you do, you can type in EN, EN short for enable to get what? Enable mode. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to say EN. That's a short for enable. I can use the tab key, press enter. So this is called what? Right here. I wrote down here. This is called what? Privilege mode. Okay. You gotta understand that this is very important for for the real life. It's called privilege mode. Hint: always, 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 you must go to config T mode. That will take you to what global configuration mode. So what you have to do, you have to as follow. You're gonna type right here: config space T. You have to be to this mode. Config global. This is global configuration mode. You cannot give IP address or do anything until you're in that mode. So always, always have to type in what? Config T. That's why I wrote my notes, okay? So this is right here. Now I'm going to show you how to give IP address to the F00. But before I do that, I'm going to show you how to give a host name. Let's give a host name first. To give a host name, all you have to say host name R1. So I'll go back to router. Oops, sorry with that. Now you see that there's no host name. That's the default. I'm going to type in the word host name R1. As soon as I type R1, the host name changed right here, okay? Now the goal is to give IP address to this side. Now the key is, in order to give IP address to this side, you have to go to that interface. You're going to say INT, INT short for interface. INT F0 slash 0. Enter, okay? Then you're going to say word IP space address. IP address is going to be what? 10.10.10.100. Now notice, when I press enter, it's going to say what? Incomplete command. What you do, use the up arrow key, which we have on the keyboard. Under shift, we have up arrow key, space, question mark. Remember that for exam or live, question mark is your friend. Question mark will tell you what's next command is. So the next command is what? I need what? Sublimus. So 255.255.255.0. Press in, took it, okay? So that's why I did my notes. I go give IP address. See, I put it in complete command. You put it what? Question mark. Then you're getting IPS, okay? Now let's try to ping it from the router from this mode. 
See, at that mode, don't see, stay in that mode. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ping this PC. Ping, sorry about that. Ping 10.10.10.1. See, whenever you see this command or this marker on the, on the router, that means you're wrong mode. Let's move back. In order to move back, you type in exit. So right now, I'm not at the sub interface mode, I'm at the global configuration mode. Let's try that right now. Ping. 10.10.10.1 it does not work why because I'm global so what to do let's move it back exit now what you have to remember that the ping and show command always work at what in privilege mode there's another command is we're going to cover later on but most of the time ping works at disk mode and show command so let's say ping oops sorry about that Ooh, that's not good okay ping 10.10.10.1 I'm trying to ping the web PC now the command works see that the command is working but what happened I get dot 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 why is that because if you look at the diagram you see that is the color is red by default all the ports on it are in shutdown mode is okay so look at my notes I wrote down here I do all of this ping ah come on Sorry about that, my PC is a little bit slow today. <laughs> okay, let's move it down. Oops. Okay, very good. Sorry about that. So you see, ping does not work in this mode, and this mode, all of this doesn't work, right? But when I ping here, it does work, but it says dot, dot, dot. Again, as I see, the ping works only in user mode and privilege mode, right? But ping and show command does not work in configuration mode and interface mode. As we see, the ping works, but I get no response. Why? By default, all interface are in what? Shutdown mode. So, how do you solve it? You have to give no shot. Hint, you must always memorize this command. I'm going to show you the command. It's called what? Show IP INT brief. This is a command you're going to use and you have to make sure up up it, okay? This is a, your life server. So you go back to the router. Router one, you press enter. Show space IP space INT short for interface brief. That shows a summary of what's happening on the router. Now what do we see here? We see so far I give IP address to F00 and you see it's a shutdown mode. So in order to solve the problem, you have to give what? Go to this interface and give it no show. And also look at this, there's no IP address here because I haven't done that. So what I'm going to do, I want to take care of this first. Again, what I do, I type in, I have to go under interface mode. So I have to say config T. I cannot say no shot. It does not work. You have to say what well, int f zero zero. This is important to understand. You have to be under interface mode. Then you're gonna see the word what no shot. Now watch. As soon as I do that, you're gonna see what a pop. Okay, and that's why I said that I did this all of that. I said no shot. I said a pop. Okay. Now I check it again. If I check again, let's check it again. So in order to check again, remember that you have to be end. You gotta big. You gotta go back to the beginning. The show command works here. You can use N or Control Z. Show IP INT brief. Okay. So life is good up up. Okay. The next thing I'm gonna do. I wanna give what? So as we see, we have life is good for this. Side. Now I wanna do same thing, but I do what? F zero one. The other side. That means if you look at the diagram, I want to give this side also what? IP address, this side right here, okay? So right now here, see, I have no IP address on that one. So you're going to say what? First, you're going to say config space T, INT, F0 slash 1, enter, right? Then you're going to say what? IP space address, 20.20.20.100. what? Because that's what the IP is right here. Dot hundred, okay. Then when I press Enter, see you're gonna get what? Incomplete what? Command. Sorry about that. So what I'm gonna do? 
I'm going to use upper key space question mark. Then I'm going to put 255.255.255.what0. Then we have to have to say no shot. Don't forget that. So it's up up right now. Okay? So I'm going to use and or control Z. Check the work. Show IP INT what brief. Now I say up up. Life is good, okay? Now I should be able to ping. So let's check my notes. I did all of that. I did all of that my notes. Now life is good. Now I should be able to ping from one side to another side. So let's go to that. I go to PC1. Right here, see, I could not ping 220 that. Again, let's say IP config again. I should be a ping. Default give it 10.10.10.100. I'm pinging this guy right here. Then I should ping what 20 doing it. And let's just wait. Takes time. All right. So we have connectivity from here to here. Okay. All right. So let's look at the, my notes. Now the next thing I want to talk about that. I want to tell you how to use a question mark with space and without space. This is very, very important in your life, okay? So let's go back to the here. I type in CL, tab key. See, when I use a tab key, keep moving, need more. But with no space question mark, I give a question, space. With no space, see, in order to finish it, I got to put some more letter. I put CLO, tab key, it finished that. Now, right now, I have a space question mark. See that a space question mark? A space question mark would tell me what is what next command is i put question mark i need a word what set i put set question mark then i need what time okay so let's time here according to my nose i put 15 colon 15 colon 10 for example question mark then what i need i need month of the year right so here i put the what february and we are in february February okay question mark oops see I mistype it February how do you spell that I mean February yeah if oh February <laughs> sorry about that with question mark I need day of the month today is what 28 28 question mark then year 2000 what 16 question mark press enter okay that's it so the key is here I just want to use what the lovely what question mark with space again when I type in CL tab key it doesn't finish with no space tell me how to finish this word with space, show you how to change the how what's the next command is okay. So that's what the practice okay. That's what I was showing to right here. Now there's something called Control A and Control E. A Control Z is same as N is when you want to take all back to the beginning. Now anytime you type it on interface, it will override that. Let me show you something like that. Let's say if I type in watch this. If I say show IP INT brief, see this interface is what. Is 10, 10, 10, 100. Now watch this. If I say config t, intf 0, 0, I'm right now at this interface, okay? If I type in IP address 50.50.50.100, 255.255.255.0, I use control Z or end, show IP int brief. You see that one? The interface changed. So anytime you write that, that's going to over that, okay? So I'm going to put it back again. Config T, INT F00. Sorry about that. IP address 10.10.10.100 with 255.255.255.0. Now look, if I say INT F0 slash 1, whatever I type here right now, it goes apply to what? This interface. So when I type int f0 right here, whatever I type this command, that's going to apply to that interface, okay? So let's just get out of that. Show IP and to brief upper key. See, now it's back to normal, okay? So that's for that one. The next thing I want to talk about quickly, so life's back to normal right here. Now I'm going to talk about as a command, it's called show run. 
showroom will tell you what's happening once you type in. It's very important to check your work. Now watch this. It says show run tab key. I go up. This is my host name. You go down a little bit down. This is your interfaces IP address. Now in order to get this, as you see that first you have to type in what? This is far away. You have to type in config T first. Then you got to type in int f00. That's short for interface f00. Again, you can say int f00 or interface f00. Then you have to give IP address. You can go down, you type in what intf01, then you have to say what IP address 2020.100.2555. So that's what the show run is. Show run will tell you what you have to be typing, okay? The next thing I want to show you quickly how to save configuration. In order to save configuration, you have to go like this, especially for Cisco exam or any exam, you have to say copy run running config. That's running company as what's running right now. Tab key startup. That's inside the D NVRAM is startup config. This is a DRAM. This is NVRAM. You have to stay the files in DRAM and this is file what NVRAM. We have to go from source to what? To destination. So I press enter. That will save my things. What's that mean? If I type in reload, that means you reboot the router. Oops, sorry, reload. When my router boot up. I'm gonna get what? Say I'm gonna get my router back. If I didn't save that, I lose everything. Okay. So let's wait on this comes up. Okay, back to here. Enable. Show IP int what? Brief. Okay. So life is good. Now I'm gonna talk about banner. Okay. Banner is it something that is good to have it. Okay. So I'm gonna talk about this. How do you do that? You're gonna say all I do, I'm gonna say config t banner question mark. MOT means what? Message of the day. MOTD question mark. Then you gotta put up start with the pound and suppose you said like this is like Ahmed Rare and you close with the pound. Press enter, control Z. If you type in exit, see it shows that. When I press enter. This is Hamid router, or this is a Chicago router, or this is whatever Los Angeles router. It's good to give it all this banner enable. The next thing I want to do in my notes in this chapter, in this section of the class, let's say if I type in CCN and look what happens when I type in CCN, it's gonna waste my time. Because this command it, it needs to a DNS. See when I type in DNS, it's trying to resolve that, okay? So when I go to my router. I type in capital CCN. Now look what happened. It's translating what CCN to some. It's looking for DNS, but we have no DNS here, and this this is kind of like a command is waste your time. So in order to prevent this wasting time, okay, let me get out of that. There's a command called config t no space ip space domain dash lookup. Again, if you forgot, type in no ip domain with no space question mark see that you see all the choices so you need dash it's right here it shows right here so that's the key so you gotta use what with no space question look up okay now if I type in CCNN let's use CCNN see it doesn't waste my time so this is a good command to to have it that's what's a no IP domain lookup okay as I do that it works so let's check my interface again one more time. Show IP INT brief. Now watch here. I have a two interface, F00 and F01. Okay. Now there's another command is right here. I said that. So the network 1010 is is on interface this, and the, the other one is on the other interface. You look at the diagram right here. If you look at my diagram, this side is what? 10 10 10 10 100 and this sign is what 20 20 100 now there's another good command i want to make sure you see that show ip route watch that shows i'm directly connected c means what this is very important for down the road c means what connected another c means what so this side of the router so when you look at the router you gotta have a two connected one connected network 10 here right here network 10 
and one connected network 20 okay later on you're gonna see static ground you're gonna see what OSPF you're gonna see rip all that good stuff but you gotta understand that every time that you have a two interface is up up you're gonna see what two connected okay and that's why I put in my node show IP route you're gonna see connected okay this is my routing table confirms the information so that's it. that will finish our things again I just want to say thank you so much I want to show you quickly where you can get all of these our website is www.tsm.com if you go here on blogs we have a bunch of CCNS, CCNP, A+, Neto+, all that we have this study habits and also we have student testimony and also community outreach that we go out we share with the people now if you go back to here CCN blogs you see a bunch of blogs here right here you see these are my CCN blogs and the last one if you click here like we have some of these basic router configuration we have OSPF we have uh, CCN DHCP server. If you click on this one right here, which goes right here, that shows you exactly what we type in right here. We type everything for you, all of that command, and that ends, we show the video. So if you have any question or any comment, you always can reach us right here. Any question, 301-984-7400, or go to our website, or just fill up one of these form contacts. Again, thanks so much for your time. I appreciate it and good luck on your CCNN and make sure you practice hard. Thank you.